there friend, good morning and welcome to this 10 minute morning yoga practice. Today we're doing 10 minutes of yoga for the arms and abs. So this is a great way to get stronger, to start your day with a win and to boost your energy as well. So let's begin in downward facing dog. Once you're there, you can have your feet about hip distance apart. Keep a bend in your knees. Fingers are spread nice and wide. And then start to encourage your head towards your mat as you point your tailbone up towards the sky. And just take a few really big breaths in and out here. Now on your next breath in, start to glide forward until you're in a high plank, shoulders directly above the wrists, body nice and strong here. And then on your exhale, bend your knees, start to drag your hips up and back again to find your downward facing dog. We'll repeat that a few more times, inhaling forward, exhaling back. The next time you're in your downward dog, you can pause there. We'll drop both knees back down to the mat and come into tabletop pose. Wrists directly below the shoulders, knees directly below the hips. Press yourself away from your mat here so the body is nice and strong. And then send your left foot back behind you, keeping it floating up in the air. Once you feel balanced, bring your right arm out in front. Now just focus on making your body as long as possible here. So pushing those fingers away, pressing that heel back behind you. And this is really going to help to activate your ab muscles. And of course, your left arm is working really hard here. If you want to take it a little bit further, you can bring your foot and your hand over onto the diagonals. So left foot is floating over your back left corner of the mat, right hand floating over the top right corner. Let's inhale to bring ourselves straight again and then exhale onto the diagonal. Let's do two more like that. Remember to keep that left foot nice and high. Coming back to center then, we'll set ourselves up for the opposite side. So your right leg comes back behind you. When you're balanced, lift that left arm up. Make yourself nice and long here. Stay here or take it to the diagonals. One more time. And then drop that knee and hand back to center. You can give your wrists a little bit of a break here by coming to a very brief child pose. And then breath in takes us back up to tabletop pose. From here, we'll do our tabletop plank. So when you're ready, lift those knees up off your mat, really activating your abs and your arms, getting really strong. Keep breathing. We're just staying here for a few breaths. One more big breath in and then exhale, drop the knees, sit yourself back into child's pose and take a moment just to find your breath again. Your next inhalation can pull you back up and this time we're going to come into dolphin pose. So this is the ultimate pose to strengthen those arms and to work your abs as well. So keeping our knees on the mat, we're going to bring our forearms onto the mat in front of us. Now bring your hands to touch opposite elbows here. And that's going to be the distance that you keep your elbows apart on your mat. 
fingers might interlock here so your hands are back together and you've made a triangle shape with your forearms. Curl your toes onto your mat, lift your knees and then drag your hips up and back just like we would for downward facing dog. Walk your toes a little bit closer to your body here. Now you can stay here in your dolphin or if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, we'll start to glide forward as if we want to kiss the mat in front of our hands. On an exhale, drag your hips up and back again. Let's do a few more like that, inhaling forward, exhaling back. Now you always have an option here to keep your knees on your mat, that's absolutely fine. Just do whatever you can do. And we're always working up to getting stronger, so don't worry if you can't do it all today. Nice, if you're doing these dolphins, you're doing amazing. Let's just do two more. Hips up and back. And now you can drop your knees to your mat. Come back into your child's pose. We'll pause here and just let everything reset. Now pressing your hands into the mat, start to pull yourself up. We'll move back into downward facing dog. From here, gliding forward into your high plank. We'll take it to a side plank this time. So drop both of your heels to the left side of your mat. Always an option here to keep your knees on the mat. But if you're ready, you can start to lift that right hand up to the ceiling. Maybe looking up at your right thumb. Take a big breath in and then exhale, drop it down. Take a second in between here if you need. You can come back to your downward dog or your child's pose. But then when you're ready, glide forward, high plank, drop both heels to the right. Lift your left hand to the ceiling and look up at your left thumb. Big breath in, arms are super strong. Exhale, drop that left hand back down and find your downward dog. Knees come back to the mat and then you can come to sit on your mat. Now we're gonna finish our practice with crow pose. So if you're unfamiliar with this pose, you might just watch first and then join in whenever you're ready. If you need a little bit of a confidence boost in this pose, I would recommend putting a cushion on the mat in front of you. So we're starting with our feet on the mat as if we're coming into a squat. Then hands are about shoulder distance apart on the mat in front of you. Spread your fingers wide apart and then turn them in slightly. Now our knees are hugging into the sides of the arms. Start to lift yourself up and then slightly forward. Keep your gaze down on the mat in front of you. Remember, take that cushion if you need it. Once you feel balanced, keep hugging those knees in towards your arms. Maybe you can start to lift your toes up off the mat. Just staying here for as long as you can making those arms super strong. You can always tap those toes back down if you need. One more big breath here. And then exhale, we'll start to come back down. Well done if you did that crow pose. If you didn't, you can always work up to it. And you can always stay on your mat practicing that pose if you want to but we'll officially end our practice here. So if you liked this practice, please let me know by leaving a thumbs up. If you want to stay on your mat a little bit longer or come back tomorrow, I would recommend this playlist. It's full of 10 minute morning yoga practices. Or if you want to slow it down now, you can do this 10 minute meditation. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope to see you tomorrow, but until then have a great day and goodbye.